So this was today's haul, 181 games. It was an incredible thrifting day. So join us to see how we scored all these games, including Mario and Sonic Rio for $3, Spider-Man Web of Shadows for 8 and some of these glorious PS1 games, and just so much more. So let's do this thing. Hello and welcome to Chase After the Right Price. I am two, out, two and a half hours away from home. I'm going to hit a video game store that I've never been to and hopefully three or four family videos that I've also never been to. So expecting to get some great scores. So come along for the ride and let's do this thing. Okay guys, so that was a great first stop. We went to the Disc Replay video game store. And I brought in some trade-in, a bin, which is right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I had already brought this box into like three or four other stores, so it's been like heavily processed through. They basically got all the good stuff already is what I thought. Well, I was able to get 55 more dollars store credit for this one, and I got a 20% off. So it ended up being an amazing stop for the PS1 game section alone. So you can see, Crash Bash with the 20% off, $8. Doom, about $11. That's an amazing deal. Spider-Man, one for about $5.50. Spider-Man, two, about $5.50 as well. Tekken, three, same story, $5.50. I like the black label. Street Fighter X plus Alpha, or EX plus Alpha. Resident Evil Survivor, $8. Marvel Super Heroes, $12. Capcom vs. SNK Pro, $11. Amazing deal. And all these are complete. Vagrant Story was $11 with all the discs and the manual. And same for Legend of Dragoon, $11. And then we got Hack Volume 2 Reminisce, uh, about $15 bucks complete. And then we got a transfer pack. That was one of the free items because there's a buy five, get the sixth free. Fire Emblem. Sacred Stones, uh, marked at 17, so that came to about 15. And then this is an uncommon NES game, Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat, uh, 20 bucks after the 20% off. This one was free, Double Dragon, which was eight, or well, actually it was free. So, and then Ratchet and Clank, four dollars, also complete. And SpongeBob, Battle for Bikini Bottom for about six dollars and I'm missing one of the free one. Oh yeah, The Legend of Dragoon was actually free. So our total paid was ninety dollars and seventy nine cents for all of that stuff. That was an awesome stop. Let's move on to family video now. 
Family video number one. All right, so I'm done with the first family video. It wasn't the best family video stop that I've had, but it was still really good. The DS games were 250 each, and we got Cooking Mama 2, Brave, Ghostbusters, Tetris Party Deluxe, that's pretty awesome, uh, TMNT, Arcade Attack, sweet deal there, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, X-Men Destiny, and some here. The one I just dropped is Toy Story 3. And then we got Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Lego Batman 2. Cars 2. Picross 3D. Lego Harry Potter. Cooking Mama 3. And then for 10 bucks each, we got Minecraft on PS4 and Dragon Quest Builders. So that's the first family video. Let's move on to the next one. Family video number two on this glorious snowy day. Alright, here's what I got from the second family video. Ultimate Alliance 2 for $3. Lego Harry Potter for $8 complete. And NASCAR 14 for $4 complete. <clears throat> so it was definitely one of the smaller family video stops, but I'm at the third one. And we're going to go see what they got, so let's do it. Alright, done with family video number three. Is that number three? I think it was number three. Okay, so... I got 10 games, including Forza Horizon, which was $8, so now I'll buy one, get one half off, so Naruto Storm Revolution was $4, Farming Simulator for $8, Dynasty Warriors 8 for 4 Jurassic the Hunted, uh, actually rang up at 8 and then Transformers Prime rang up at 4 Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix for 8 and this is probably the best score of the bunch, NASCAR 15 Victory Edition for 3 We got Fossil Fighters for $3, and then the half off one, which is complete, is Finding Nemo for $1.50. So, it's been a pretty good day so far, let's keep going. It is 1.07, and I've been to 4 stores, but I drove 2.5 hours away from home. So I'm going to start making the venture back home, but going to hit some more family videos on the way home, so let's do it. Family video number four. Let's go do it. Alright guys, this family video was awesome. Got all that stuff, 36 games, and the DS games, she just gave them to me all for $1.50, which is the half off price. She just went straight up half off on all of them because I was buying so many. And the disc based games averaged $5.25, so she really hooked me up with some good deals. And this was a great stop. I'm gonna do a pan over so you can see all the games we got in mind and just keeping those prices when you see the pan over. Let's go to number five.
Alright, so I just scored huge at that family video. 41 games. 30 of those were DS games, which averaged 225 apiece. I'm going to show them real quick. So, probably the biggest score of the bunch, Wii Sports Club. $10. Amazing deal. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of show all the titles there. You can see Tetris, Sonic Rush Adventure, Sims 3, that's a good one, Adventure Time, a couple others. I'll show them in stacks like that. And then we got some Cooking Mama, some Toy Story, Transformers, Smackdown vs. Raw. Their DS section was huge and they were all still marked at $8, which is a mistake on their end, so, because they're all actually three and buy one, get one half off. So I think that scared other people away from buying them. Picross 3D, Plants vs. Zombies, so Smurfs, Planes. Oops. And we got some Call of Duty, some Sonic. That's uh, Cop the Recruit. That's a fairly uncommon game, like $20 game. Alright, and we got another Cars 2, some Lego Harry Potter, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Mario vs. Sonic. Here's the last of the DS games, Spider-Man, Ice Age, and Fossil Fighters. And the ones that are like kind of iffy, like Ice Age, they're complete, and that's worth it for me, if they're complete. Okay, and then we got Madden 13, How to Train Dragon, Lego, or Harry Potter's on the Wii, No My Heroes 2 on the Wii, that's a cool one, that one was complete. And these are like average of six bucks a piece. And then Flat Out Ultimate Challenge. Transformers Prime, Guitar Hero Smash Hits, and Naruto on PS3. So, that was an awesome stop. I'm going to do maybe one, maybe two more, and then we're going to be done for the day, but it's been an amazing day, and just full of scores, loving it. Alright, the last one of the day. I left the house at 7.30 a.m., it's 4 o'clock, and this is going to be the last one, and then we're going to go homeward bound. Alright guys, I'm done with the last family video, and holy crap, that was the best family video stop I've ever had. There's probably around 50 games on here, and since I was buying so many, she rang them up at $3 and $1.50, or $1.45, including the ones that are marked at like $8. So the average game cost for every single game was $2.25. And there's some amazing stuff in here, um, including Mario and Sonic Rio 2016 for the Wii U. Um, like a, almost all the Spider-Mans on Xbox 360 for $2.25. I mean, just countless amazing deals. So I'm glad I waited. It took her about an hour and 20 to get the games, but man, was it worth it. It's 5.20 now, and I'm going to head home. So, right here, I will show the games.
And thank you for watching Chase Out of the Right Price, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we've been growing pretty quickly lately, and we're just so thankful for that. It means the world. Uh, that doesn't happen without you guys, so we're going to keep on thrifting, keep on bringing out videos. So we appreciate you guys. Let us know what you found this week, and I'll see you guys next time.